Hey, you beautiful, incredible, wonderful, very, very, very much needed coach, you. Yes, uh, and I, I wanted to share with you today, uh, you're looking at this when you're looking at this, but today I had a, a, a kind of a profound little memory that popped up that I wanted to pass along to you. So uh, I was talking at a, a conference and they were asking about how we've seen coaching change and how we've uh, uh, impact the world. And, and, and somebody started talking about how they got into coaching. And then they asked me, now I have a typical story that I share about, well, I was doing this and then I that, and then I came across coaching. But something popped in my head and I reflected back to 9-11, 2001, which was a profound, uh, changing, defining moment for our country in the States. And if you're not in the States, you may have heard of it. Um, and it was the, the day on September 11th when we were attacked and our Twin Towers were uh, uh, collided with, or planes collided into the Twin Towers and, and people died horribly. And it was a a shocking event and i remember it vividly as anybody who was around that day remembers riveted to the television and and the same is true for i'm guessing and assuming for anybody anywhere when there's been some major disaster especially an attack uh, something that jars and shakes us um very similar to on a, a larger scale but similar to how when we are attacked personally and individually and, and, and we remember these moments, um, they affect us deeply. So uh, a lot is said about that day and, and its impact, but I wanted to share something that uh, re I was reminded of because I was doing some personal growth training and, and this, will, this will go to you in a minute. Uh, I was doing some personal growth training. This is pre-coaching. This is way be. I actually started coaching in 2003, but uh, but I was already taking courses from other organizations and learning how to better myself, how to how to see things differently, how to handle my own problems and issues. It was really about how I can do my life, and uh, and I was just starting a brand new course. Uh, that that uh, there was training. It was day one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and we all, 9-11 uh, happened, and I believe it was one, the next day, we all came in for our first meeting. And obviously we were all shaken up because when we had registered, and just two days before, we were all excited. We were all stepping into this new training. Everything was incredible. Everything was wonderful. Everything was possible. Oh, this is so amazing. This is so wonderful. And then this event that rattled us uh, in our deep foundation and just personally uh, in our communities, in our world, we were deeply shaken. And yet we all showed up to that class. We all showed up. The first thing that really struck me was the not just the willingness, but the absolute stand from the leaders of the training that said, we need to put the training on hold for a moment and talk about this. And not talk about it in a place for us to wallow and vent and and uh, just share our confusion and our fears and our overwhelm and our sadness and our pain. I mean, there, that was there, but it was to let's talk about and let's look at it deeper. And so they did a gorgeous, beautiful job of just guiding us to a deeper sharing. So the first profound experience that I had from that was that we all suddenly felt closer together. We hadn't even started the training and we all felt closer together because we acknowledged as opposed to, 
this isolation tendency that we have of when something bad happens, even when other people are involved, we have this natural tendency to implode or, or turn it back onto us. And it's me. I went through this. I suffered. I struggled this. I'm scared. I'm angry. I'm hurt. And in this room, we instantly went, we are scared. We are hurting. We are confused. We are this. We. There was an instant we that we got from this experience. The second profound uh, moment happened um, some few moments later, where after we all got to share and, and debrief and connect and, and be together in this as one. And then I remember the leader uh, saying a few words and then saying something basically. Uh, and actually, they said these words um, that this was a horrible event. There's a lot of pain and confusion in the world. And that this obviously could not, should not have happened, and it did. We can, we can also look at it as a call to action, as a reminder that there is a lot of pain and a lot of confusion in the world. And that's what led up to this, not to justify it at all. Because that kind of lashing out in any anger, in any pain, no matter what we are feeling, that kind of lash, any kind of lashing out in pain and anger is not good. It's not acceptable. And it's understandable that when we are in pain, when we are angry, when we are hurt, when we are scared, we resort to hideous things. That's our human nature. That's what we do. And again, not that we are capable uh, of doing anything to that magnitude of destruction, but yet we do in ourselves at our own levels. When we are scared, when we are angry, when we are hurt, we resort to drastic measures, drastic steps um, that cause pain and, and, and hurt and sorrow in our own circles, in our relationships. And it happens. So know that that happens because it does. And so this trainer reminded us that this is part of our human experience. And that it's also a very, very big reminder of how the world needs us. The work that we were there to do in our own personal growth, in our own leadership, in our own development and discovery, so that we could bring our best into the dealing with our own problems and our own pain and our own stuckness and our own anger and our own frustrations and how to deal with ourselves in a better way that is creative and conducive to growth and supportive and connecting. And if we can learn how to show up better in our world, in our world, we can actually start creating little ripples out there. This is before I stepped into coaching and already the call to action had been made. This trainer said very cleanly and clearly, the world needs us, not only us, but us. The world needs us to show up, to discover our deeper strengths, our deeper skills, our deeper richness, our deeper power, our deeper love. We've heard many times how love is the uh, opposing force of hate or, or fear, love and fear. And love is stronger. Love is more powerful. Fear is urgent and, and strong and 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 very fast, but love is deeper, love is stronger, love is richer, love lasts. And everything that we were there to learn from that day was how to be ourselves more powerfully, not power over, power of ourselves. That was a year and a half before I discovered this thing called coaching. And already I was being tuned to 
the world needs us. Not I'm here and, and, and the world is here for me. I am here for the world. We are here for the world. We all let that moment sink. And then we took a little break just to kind of clear out. And then we all stepped in, back in, and began our training. It was the same training that they had given year after year after year. And yet I know that that group was very different because of what had happened and what had colored uh, us stepping into it. And I'm thinking now of the coaches who, maybe you're one of them, who uh, just stepped into training just as COVID hit. Another big, drastic sea change, uh, challenge to our society, to our world. I'm thinking about all of the coaches who in the past years have uh, stepped into coaching and witnessed other tragedies in other countries or in uh, the States. There's always something, unfortunately, there's always something going on that is big and messy and nasty. And there always will be something going on that is big and messy and nasty. There always have been throughout time. There always will be throughout time. It's how we handle it as a people that make the difference. And every single time a big, nasty, horrible thing shows up. I'm not the first one to notice that 9-11 occurred and the code that we use for emergency is 911 here in the States. 911 is what we dial on the phone when there is an emergency. And the timing was serendipitous that this happened on September 11th, 9-11, 911. That was an emergency of a, a citywide scale, but also of a national scale and of a global scale. And it was an emergency call to each and every one of us. The world needs help. The world needs help. And if you think that you are not the person to help, absolutely you are. Because every single person who has, is causing the pain and the problem is just a person. And every single person who is out there helping the pain is just a person. We are all equal in that. And every little thing that you get to do is important. It may be hard. But that's what makes it important. That is why I am so honored to be a coach who trains and grows coaches like you, because I get to help you help others. I help others too, because the bottom line is the world needs us. The world needs you. And I thank you so deeply and profoundly from the bottom of my heart that you are here. This isn't about doing great things. This isn't about making a big splash and, and, and all of that huge impact. Impact, big impact happens from little things. Just show up, just be you. Just continue to coach the way you beautifully, wonderfully do. Come to me for help. I'll help you. I'll help you get bigger and better and stronger and deeper and richer and, and everything. But at the very least, just keep showing up. Even when you get shaken, just show up. Reach out and connect with your community and then take the next step and go back. I hope this has inspired you. Even just sharing it has absolutely inspired me. I will keep sharing more. 
I will keep here supporting and growing you and growing in incredible ways so that you can bring more to your world, our world. Because the world needs us and the world is so lucky to have you. Thank you.